Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and in this video, we're going to upgrade the CPU's agent on a V6 node that doesn't have internet. So I purposely removed the internet from this V6 cluster just to be able to show you this. So we can reach the Gaia portal, but if we try to log into the Gaia portal, it will say like, yeah, it has expired, it's incorrect username or whatever. It will give an error message. And this is error message is actually not true. Um, it should say something like, yeah, this uh, gateway is running VSX mode, so the Gaia portal is not available. It is, however, available if you're running R8040 or above. So this is running R8030, and I can prove that this is a VSX by checking in CLI. First, we can do the CP info y all. Yes, we can see that this is an R8030. So here, R8030, and it has some Jumbo hot fixes, and we can do VSX stat. And we can see that this is the VSX01 um, node number three, and it has um, some virtual systems configured already. So if we want to check like the status of the uh, CPU's agent, it's easiest. Wait, we zoom here maybe. So we have nice and clean. I'll do clear and then I'll need to log into Clish. So either you just write Clish or you do exit depending on where you're logged in from start. And then you can do show installer and status. And here you can see like, yeah, we have an agent and we have the build number. And I removed the internet from this one. Um, so it says could not connect to the shipment cloud. So I have one that I tried before on that had um, internet connection and it uh, auto updated itself. So this is node number one. So this is how it should say. It should say enable, it should say the current version, it should say connected, and it should say like um, done or in process or whatever. But this is more like it. So this one doesn't have internet. So even if it says like agent build is up to date, it's really not. Because if we log into the um, checkpoint site and we check the SK for this, that is 92.449, we are scrolled down and we can see that the current build is 21.93. So 21.93 and we currently have on this one, we have 21.13. So it's not up to date. So if we want to uh, update this one, we need to, first of all, we need to get the file. So we just download this from the SK. So download, and I'm not sure if we need to log in. Apparently we need to log in, so we'll just log in. So I'm logged in, so I can download this one. So download. And this is a TGZ file. Let's go back to our VMware station and let's do like this. So we need to open uh, WinSCP or something to transfer the file more or less. Like this. And we want to have the, the correct IP address of this one. Let's see. So it should have 254.7 let's see if we can do properties and just copy this yeah copy then put in your username and password and it will be scp log on yes continue so it doesn't have bash so we need to change this and to do this we I think it's easiest to do like this. So go into expert mode. And then uh, e grab, let's see, admin etc password, I think it is. So we have cli.sh here, and we want to change this. So do like this. Bin bash admin. 
So now the shell has been changed to bash. We can check this again by just seeing here we have a bash. So now we should be able to log in. So what was the IP address again? Um, here. SCP admin. Now it should work. If not, I need to check my own videos. Um, so we go into this one and we have the deployment agent here and we will move it to uh, it doesn't really matter where we put it to uh, as long as we are aware of where it is but I will put it in yeah we can put it in the 10 folder so uh, upload so it's uploaded so if we go into SSH again and we do clear and we do pvd so we see where we are pd temp ls so here we see the deployment agent and now we want to install this and it's easiest to do like this so we have the full path so it's just slash pvd um yes slash temp i mean and then we go into clish so exit and we do clear can we do like that yeah and then we want to do installer agent i think it's install and then the path and we want to have the name so the name is this one so copy paste and hopefully this works <laughs> But it looks like that. So what more or less I did is that I, first of all, I needed to change the, the shell to be able to transfer the file to the box itself. So it needs to be bash. Uh, you can either have like uh, an SCP account on all your gateways. Um, that's recommended, I would say. Um, or you can just change your, ch your shell and that you do by the command. I can scroll up and we can see here. Uh, so this one here we did change it to bash and we want to change it back to um, um, I lost my word <laughs> uh, but we wanted to change it to to the normal one more or less uh, to, to this CLI one so uh, we can do that later but here we see that the installation has been succeeded so it's it's done uh, do we need to press OK? Yeah, we actually logged out. So we will just see. And by the way, when you change it to bash, uh, you see that you come right into expert mode. So that's also a difference. If you have it in bash, you will come directly into expert mode. If you have it in, in the other mode, you will just come into user mode. So we do clish here and we will do uh, lock database override and we do um show installer uh, status and we see here that the build now number is now updated so this is actually up to date and i know that this is up to date because this is actually matching what it says on checkpoint website so it says 2193 so that's how to update the the cpu's agent so you're able to update your vsx cluster in an easy way by the way, I almost forgot, we need to change back the shell, so we can do like this. And then it would be S C H S H minus S uh, E to C C L I dot S H admin. So now we have changed the shell. And yes, that's a reference because I, I, I'm aware that some people complain on this. Um, this, I don't think this is saved. And how you can change it if we just change it back uh just to prove the point is s um then bin bash oh yeah oh <laughs> i didn't put in the username but it uh recognized i was logged in as admin 
But if we do like this, if we do exit to go into um, uh, the configuration, and you see here that the shell has been changed and we have the bash. So if I do show configuration, we can see here that the, the set username has actually not changed. So if this box were to be rebooted, I will not be in bash uh, because I will go back to the default. So it's important that you uh, make sure that you don't do temporary changes that people think that it is it actually this and then you reboot it and the box doesn't act the same way. Um, so we will do like this sh s I did put the command here before. Can I scroll up and just see it? Yeah, like this. Copy paste. So now the shell is changed, so we're back to default. And if you want to see how to do this change of um, I don't know shell prompts or whatever, it is actually within the um, uh, admin guide, so you can uh, uh, do the changes here. Uh, how to manage user accounts in Gaia Clish and how to set uh, login shells. So there are a few different ones. This is the default, the etc CLI, and the bash is um, uh, Linux prompt, so to say. So I think this is it for this video. I hope you did like it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.